of people across the world and right here at home are standing in solidarity with Israel tonight. CBS 13's Madison Kivi is live in Granite Bay with those waiting and praying. Madison. Well, there's more than 7,000 miles that separates where I am now at the Sacramento Jewish Academy and Israel. But for dozens that came out to a prayer rally held here today, feels far closer to home. To stand together in strength and in support. Draped in the Israeli flag, a family stands in prayer. Dozens came together in Granite Bay to pray for Israel, where many neighbors still have family. My father, my mother, my brothers, my nephews, all of them are still there. I have 11 siblings and brother, uh, brothers and sisters living in Jerusalem. Among this group at the Sacramento Jewish Academy, there are fears and concerns about their loved ones. Some are in and out of bomb shelters and many are in shock in Israel. My father-in-law is barely speaking. Depression is like in shock. Um, everyone is heartbreak and it's very hard time right now. Focused on Israel, a local man updated us on Jerusalem, where his family narrowly escaped death. My 25-year-old brother and his family was under a roof when a bomb went through the roof but did not ignite. The bomb didn't went off. Others here aren't sharing the images coming out of Israel with their children both kids and teens. I'm, I'm trying not to show them, but it's the things that we see, the kids, the babies, the old people, they teach them to hate. Now, out this event, there was added security, uh, something that we've seen at religious spaces across the area as well as across the country, but this event went off without any issues.